Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. So I didn't actually have much planned this week in terms of work outside of YouTube. So I thought I'd just go off and buy a roll of film and take some photos for the sake of it. It's something that I haven't actually done in a long time, just strolling around, taking photos purely for the fun of it. So I headed to the photographer's gallery because they've got the craziest selection of film in London, like by far. A really, really vast amount of film. I mean, I'd be surprised if anywhere in the world had more film than this. Uh, a lot of it is insane and kind of funky and not up my alley, but they do have all the kind of usual stuff as well. And I ended up picking up some Lomo Color 800 in medium format, a film which I made a video about years and years ago and have never touched since. So I thought it'd be nice to try out, you know. Since I've been enjoying shooting Instax on the medium format back, I thought something else 800 ISO might be nice to use, so... I picked it up. I accidentally just dropped this roll of film whilst I was loading it. It's uh, probably a goner, I'm gonna guess. So I loaded up my LZ67, which is currently my only medium format camera, and just headed out. My first stop was this location which I went past on the bus recently. And this is actually something I really love about getting the bus instead of the tube or the underground. Being able to sit on that top deck and just observe the world go by does actually lead me to quite a few ideas for photos. So this first spot is just kind of this river um, on a really busy road junction. And I just thought it looked really nice. And I knew if the lighting was right, this was probably gonna pop. So I'd kind of been waiting for like a week and a half to have the right angle of light for this because I just, if it was flat, it wouldn't be anywhere near as interesting. And even though it's summer right now, or I mean, technically this week summer ended, there just hasn't been that much good light. And I ended up taking two different images here because I really couldn't decide on what was gonna work better. The thing that I first kind of stood out to me was this pylon, which was in the background, framed by the kind of river, the long kind of eye line. And I really wanted that in the gap of the trees at the end. But this also made it really not kind of symmetrical with the mouth of the river. It had to be kind of really angled to one side. So I kind of hedged my bets and shot both options. And I have to say, I think in the end, the, the more symmetrical one probably worked better. The pylon in reality came out a lot smaller. Uh, in real life, it felt kind of a lot more imposing, but oh well. I also took a portrait of my friend Pello out in the park on uh, the last day of summer, where we actually had some amazing light. We just sat drank some wine and played some frisbee. So I'm just on my way to another location to try and finish off this roll of Lomo 800. I'm going to Woodbury Wetlands, uh, a nature reservoir in North London, somewhere I've never been before. I'm hoping there's some form of balance between city and nature for like a photo. I'm pretty sure there's like a big water reservoir and I'll be able to get like a photo of some skyline behind it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. It's not really the weather for it, but what can you do? I literally got here and within like 30 seconds it started raining. So the weather's really not on my side. But gotta make it work, otherwise I'll never make this video, you know? You can't sit around waiting for good light in the UK because it really is a rarity. Look at those two guys just chilling on there. Having a great life. Now a view that looks more like this, and I can't say I'm very fond of these buildings. There's something just about like the colour of them and how modern they look. It's just not as good as these ones. I think there's just something really great about how like sterile and plain these blocks are. And yeah, in total, I guess this film's pretty nice. I didn't have the best subject matter to shoot, but you know, it did the job, and it was nice just to take some photos. Something I've been playing around with recently, which I have talked about before, is deepfake. And this week, actually, I'm up with my friend Pelleroso, who is an amazing tattoo artist, and we did a really silly trade where I offered to do him some deepfakes in return for a tattoo. So I ended up getting my first ever colour tattoo on my leg. Uh, it's this graffiti, which says cool. Very cool. But I just have to say, deepfaking is crazy. It's insane. And I made him this deep fake of him saying, DO IT! JUST DO IT! So that he could post this on his Instagram stories and uh, convince people to book in with him. But I have to say, making these deep fakes is just 
insane. It's so easy for me to suddenly become your favourite photographer from Chillicothe, Ohio. It's quite amazing. But yeah, it's something that I'm enjoying exploring, uh, this whole kind of AI stuff. And believe it or not, it's pretty easy to do. You need like a fairly powerful computer, but it looks like it's intimidating. It looks like you're a hacker in the terminal doing some crazy stuff. But when you're actually doing it, you're kind of just double clicking some stuff, hitting enter a bunch of times and it does most of it for you. So if you can tell by the scenery and the, the duotone crocs, I'm back home actually. Yesterday, I moved out of London and back here for, I don't know, maybe a month, maybe longer. We'll see. I knew the place that I was moving into was only going to be for three to four months, but unfortunately, I haven't lined up a new place after it. So I think there's some pros and cons to this, uh, and I thought I'd just tell you about them and my, my feelings. One of the things that I think is really nice is every time you leave your hometown and come back, you definitely have like a completely different perspective um, so I'm looking forward to that. Another thing, very small, that I'm really looking forward to is having two monitors on my desk again. I've got so much more space here. Um, London's so expensive, can't have much room. Having two monitors on my desk greatly increases the productivity. Uh, it's just so much easier to work. The other thing I'm really excited about is having a car and the ability to travel. I haven't shot any 8x10 in ages and what I'm looking forward to doing probably in next week's video maybe not over the next few weeks anyway is driving around and going to some more interesting locations going through the country even going abroad I haven't been anywhere in like two years now and not being in London and paying really expensive rent makes it that bit easier to go out and do some stuff but yeah yesterday I had a super fun van man day I love renting a van. I feel so cool when I rent a van. I feel like the moment I get those keys, I turn into a white van driver. And uh, yeah, it's just good fun. I felt like I was driving a spaceship. But yeah, expect something different for next week because uh, we're not gonna be in the same place, I guess. Um, who knows what the future holds? Thank you very much for watching. And also thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to do anything with a new website, whether that's purchase a new domain, start a blog, a website for your business or an online store, Squarespace is the perfect place to do all of this and much, much more. Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform for building websites. And it makes it incredibly easy to build an amazing professional looking website for a regular person without any experience on how to code or anything like that. There's an amazing variety of different themes to get you started and you definitely don't need any prior web building experience to build a really amazing website. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you probably are a creative person and you need to have a portfolio for your work. And Squarespace is an amazing place to build this. It means you're gonna spend much less time figuring out how to build a website and maintaining and updating it. And you can spend much more time out there making the work to fill it with. And to me, having it super simple to update and maintain your website is super important. You gotta remember to actually update your website and put those new photos on it when you go out and shoot. And Squarespace is just so amazing for this. So if you want to get yourself a lovely new website today, you can sign up using my link in the description or the code negative feedback to get 10% off your order. And thank you very much for watching. New things soon, probably. Yes, definitely in a week or so.